Hello and welcome to Raw Holloway's Top 5 Tips for Studying at University. Number 1. Learn to manage your time. At university a lot of your time will be dedicated to independent study so it's important that you're able to work effectively on your own. Use tools such as the Pomodoro technique to manage your time. Get used to using a to-do list to track tasks and practice making revision timetables that work for you. You also need to work out where you work best. Is this around other people, in a noisier environment or listening to music? Or is it somewhere more quiet, like a library? Number two, note making. Many degree programmes involve lectures or seminars where you need to take notes. It's not guaranteed that lecture recordings or notes will be available, so you need to make sure you're making the most of your own notes. Different people will do this in different ways. Some people prefer using a laptop or computer, others prefer taking notes by hand. Whatever works for you. The important thing is the format of your notes and what you're actually writing down. However you take them, make sure they're organised. Record the topic and the date that the notes relate to and only record new information. It's a good idea to link all of your notes to exam questions or coursework that they might relate to so they're easy to find later on. And remember to use shorthand and symbols to make your note taking quicker and easier. Number three, academic resources. Finding and using academic resources such as journal articles and academic writing can be difficult when you first arrive at university. Get used to using online search engines for academic resources such as Google Scholar or your school library website. You may also be able to access physical resources, use a library map to find relevant content and you may be able to get a day pass to visit a local university library. Journal articles can be really great up-to-date concise sources of information. Learn to use the abstract of a journal article which can be a useful summary of the entire article. Ensure you take notes while using academic resources such as journal articles so you can access the information in a concise way later on. Number four, revision. Think of your revision as a kind of recipe. You need to make sure you mix different revision techniques as different methods will work better for different people and certain content will be more suited to different techniques. Try things like past papers, teaching other people the content, mnemonics, mind maps, and condensing your notes down. Make sure you use all of the tools and resources you have at your disposal. Number five, don't worry too much. Universities will provide support once you get there to help you catch up and get the study skills you need to succeed. These may include help and tours of the library, information on referencing and plagiarism, how to approach exams and essays. There will also be resources if you need additional support, for example if you speak English as a second language or have additional learning needs. Good luck and thanks for listening.